Hey guys, let's take a real look quick at Darvish actually separating. I want you to watch his upper body or his arm, which is actually going to move this way. And his hips down here are going to start to turn counterclockwise and move this way. So as the arm comes up, watch the hips start to turn. As the arm comes up, hips turn. That is what they call separating. Now the max separation is when that elbow gets to the maximum point behind our body and our hips. Now he's a knee slammer. He slams down his knee to get his hips moving this way. So this is the max point of hip to shoulder separation, which Tom House talks about 40 to 60%. This is separating and then the unleash with a nice little slider on the outside. So guys, now let's look into a couple exercises that you can do at your house and have fun with hip to shoulder separation. Hey, now to feel hip to shoulder separation at your house, really simple. If you have a swivel chair, what I want you to work on with this swivel chair is a hip to shoulder exercise that we end up taking our upper body. Remember, hip to shoulders, our upper body goes one way. which in this case would be counterclockwise. The lower body goes the other way. Can't really move the lower body unless I get violent. So watch, I'll get a little violent here and really explode it. See how it moved? So my lower body is moving this way. The goal of this drill is to teach the kids what a separation is, where our hips are going clockwise or counterclockwise, depending whether you're a lefty or a righty and our upper body is doing vice versa. That's what's called hip to shoulder. Tom House talks of that, about being close to 80% out of velocity. And then the degrees that we want to separate from our hips and to our shoulders, if you were to look down on top of me and draw a line through each, uh, anywhere around 40 degrees, 40 to 60 degrees of separation. The amazing thing about Chapman and these guys, they separate so well and then also their stride gets out so long, which is a whole nother topic. But let's get in this hip to shoulder separation today. I want you to do this at home. Follow me. My upper body is I'm going to push this way. The lower body as I'm pushing my hands this way, I want to turn and get it to go the other way. So it looks like this. One, watch the chair turn again. Watch these two handles. Watch them turn here. Turn. The object of this for the kids to feel is the separating, the lower half going one way, the upper half going the other way. When they get to that turn where they actually turn the chair, what they're going to want to do is come real quick back to the start position to do it again. But no, that's where you really have to emphasize, when I get finished with this move, I have to hold it so I don't lose the ground of how my chair moved around. So I'll do eight of these. Let's see if I can get all the way around. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Great exercise. Hear yourself breathing. You really start separating two hips and it can all be done while you're sitting on your ass at your house. Relaxing. Work on your baseball moves all the time. It's just not a practice, guys. It's something that as you become passionate with it, it starts to take over. It starts to happen all the time. But a simple exercise, sitting down in the chair, hip to shoulder separation, and find yourself and your velocity starting to go up as long as everything works together. Thanks a lot for clicking in and nuke out. Have a great week. Keep a look at the uh, summer camp I got coming up. Love to have some kids out there from the local community. See if you can make it help happen for me. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.